Hey guys, welcome to week 43 of putting my custom furniture. We just got in some Lego orders around maybe $40 worth of parts. So let's get into what I got right guys, now. Guys, starting off this week, we got two packages. One from Lego right here. This is part of a bigger order that is coming that costs $120. For the venture update, I did $120 exactly so I could get a promo. Um, but basically, we got a bunch of these tiles. We got a rubber ducky for my girlfriend. She's going to love that. And we got some of these jumper plates, which we're going to use in a minute. And then you may be curious why you have these flesh tone studs. This is not venture plush. Well, that is because I am going to be creating my logo in Lego very soon. Which leads into our next amazing package, which is a bunch of more of these from Bricklink. We got uh, like, I don't know, like 200 in here of this. We got 400 of these. On pick a brick, these one by one studs are like 12 cents each, but all the other ones are worth three cents each, which is way weird. So I just bought all these here, and these weren't available in stock on the other comments. Same as these, they weren't available in stock, so I just got them off for link. But we are starting our meal. We have all these pieces we need. We're going to be getting a few more orders in the next few days. We basically placed all the orders. I think it should come out to be around a hundred dollars for all the pieces for it, but. I am super excited to get building that mural for my logo so that I can display that at Brickwork Chicago with my furniture. It shouldn't take too long to make since it's always been created with instructions, but I am super excited to show you guys the foul product. And then I also got one of these um, little things. There's, these are really cheap parts that I just needed. They're like two, three cents each, and I need a bunch of these Technic pins for the venture, for the side connection panels that are right here. I don't quite have enough. I'm always seem to be running out of these. So I got a bunch of those. All right, so I just sorted some of those away. These are all the technical pieces I have left. Like I don't even have these in black anymore. I've just been using so many pieces in the ways of Technic that I'm like completely out of stock of this. Now let's get into the update where we apply these little pieces right here to a section I've been wanting to do for a while. What I wanted to do with those pieces was this section right here. It was so annoying. I didn't have enough of them. And now I filled that in. Now with all the towel we have left right here, I'm going to be filling in this section right here. And now that is working great and amazing. We got Commander Cody right there on that landing pad. And it looks sick. Really, really sick. I love it. Especially this gun room. Everything is coming together so nicely in this section. Except for the massive mess we have over here. Oh my goodness. But we're going to get to the real problem. This. I've been avoiding it this whole update because I'm scared to touch it. So now we're going to get into this because both sides fell down from the massive collapse of the panels. So, yeah. All right, we have done a ton of things since the last time we talked. We attached the bomb panel once again. I think it's going okay now in the ways of support and attachment. It seems to be on there pretty seamless. Um, except for this part, I do think I need to add some sort of support here eventually. But I'm not too worried about that because it's just such a huge issue. And I mainly just want to set up the slope so I can figure out the rest of the slope for the next section. So that's the main issue with that right now, which is why I'm working on this so diligently. Because I want to be able to put in the next panels over here. But we've actually done a lot with the hanger too. Such as we fill in all these tiles and stuff like that. Well, we're not done with that yet. But these have changed a lot. So you realize this used to be covered with a bunch of 1x3s, which really was not accurate to the slope of it. So I just changed the mouse for a bunch of 1x4s because that's just way more accurate and can go all the way to the top. And I think this looks personally really great. And I also included some more of these 1x8 bricks along here as well to finish this off. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but now I have the pieces to do that. So we're going to finish up touching up this hanger. We're going to continue to put some more 1x4s on here, and then we'll start working on that on the other side of the venture. But things are looking pretty good this week for progress on this update. All right, so we have been trying to clean up the venture. We've installed this thing again. We did some great work over here, and we did it on the other side. The only problem is I made a mistake because look, yeah, that's not right. I, I think I made this all one stud too high. So now I gotta fix that and change it out because this is a major part of the support system because there's Technic going all the way through this and in the middle of here and all the way through that. So it's a big part that holds up these two sides as well. So I gotta fix that. Yay. Okay guys, I've been working on this for a while. I attached the top panels and the bottom panels. So this is like the first time we ever get to look at this. However, it kind of looks kind of bad because like it's way too steep of a slope on the top and bottom from the looks of it. And I am not in love with this look. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I haven't attached this section that goes up by one yet. Yeah, maybe that'll help. But um, 
I don't love how this looks exactly. So this is a big problem. Maybe I'll try to fix the bottom one a bit, but the top one really cannot be moved any more lower because of the hanger that we have going here. And it, the whole construct of the top one revolves around these panels as well, connecting to it. And from the, like, and it looks fine for a while now, but I don't know, it just doesn't look that great today. And I'm a bit concerned about it, not gonna lie, because this would be a big thing to fix if I were to fix this. On another note, I can't have these slopes continuously going up because it was causing it to be even steeper and it looked terrible. So all this work I just did on the slopes were basically useless. And I thought that would be a good effective method on how to do this, but it's not. So that's also another major issue. But overall, I believe, I feel like the top panel is okay. It's just the bottom panels that look way too low to the ground. So I'm going to definitely have to modify some of these again, which is just really, really quite unfortunate because that is so much work to do and it's like very hard to do. So we may have to continue to do that because this just does not look accurate. And uh, well, this is supposed to be one of the best vectors ever made in Lego. So that is definitely something we're going to work on some more. It's going to take a while to figure all this out, but yeah, that is not looking good. But right now, as we speak, I'm going to be working on make, filling in this interior section so we know where the panels are supposed to be at all times in the ways of height and everything, making sure we have that nice slope going down all the way, filled in with bricks and plates and stuff like that, just to make sure that everything lines up and looks a lot neater in the venture. Because that's one of my main goals, is to just make it look a lot nicer because this looks really jagged and doesn't really look too finished off. But we're going to try and give it a more finished off look right now by trying to fill these areas in properly. So let's get into that right now. Alright guys, it fell off again. And I've been trying to like adjust it to that it's like a less slope. And I've been trying to attach these two panels for an hour now, two hours. And that's just way too long to be trying to attach these panels. I'm sorry, but that's just way too long. So I need to figure out a different solution on how to do this because this is just honestly way too complicated. I gotta basically be dangling my hand inside there for a long time on end until I get the hook on a random peg. Who knows if it's the right one? And then it'll be set. And then I have to connect it to these things. And then these things will pull out a little bit which makes it even worse. So I have to find a different solution. So really the only progress we've managed to make this week is basically determining that I cannot handle this anymore and I'm pissed off with it. And then we have this new slope over here of five and then up one, five and up one for each one of these, which looks pretty good and makes it a nice smooth angle for the top. I do want to put it over here, over here, etc. But that'll be for future updates. Eventually, I would like to change the colors of these to gray, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because the red does look kind of nice. But this is just really devastating to see that this is not working out the way I want it to. It's way too complex, and I got to try some different methods. So that will be worked on in the next update, hopefully. I'm just so done with this. I feel like I need a break. So it was a bit unfortunate working so hard to try and get this to work this week and then just to see that it's not a viable option in the end really did stink. I'm sorry about this guys but hopefully next week we can figure out a new solution for this problem because I spent so much time just trying to get this to work and it was super frustrating. So if you enjoyed I'm sure you didn't because we didn't really get a whole ton done. Um, Please like and subscribe uh, because this was just so frustrating this week for me to do. So I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out and stay awesome. Goodbye.